Hi everyone, welcome back to another video where we are going to learn how to uh, write the rule for total length of the edges of a cube, right? In the previous videos, we have been discussing how to form or to set the rule to express different, different, different things, right? And in this case, what I'm going to discuss with you is a very interesting, you know, shape and geometry, and that is a cube. Now, we have learned about square, we have learned about rectangle, we have learned about uh, quadrilaterals and the polygons and all. Now, all those, all those uh, diagrams or the shapes are actually two-dimensional. They are actually two-dimensional. Now, if you don't know what that means, then let me tell you very quickly, two-dimensional. If this is my square, if this is my square, or say my rectangle. So if this is our square rectangle, then you can clearly see that this from here to here and from here to here. This tells you what? This tells us the length. The length. And from here to here, this tells us breadth or the width, right? Same here. So, this has two dimensions. One dimension is length. So, if I just draw a line, a simple line, it is only one dimensional because it has only measurement in one dimension. But in this case, if you see here, this is one dimension, but here you have two dimensions. Why? It has a length and it has a breadth. Length, breadth, length, breadth. Therefore, it is two dimensional. This is a cube and this is a three dimensional, it's a three dimensional diagram cube is a three dimensional okay first i'm going to explain you about three dimensional dimension and then i'll talk about cube so if this is a one dimensional because it has only length it it is a two dimensional because it has a length and a breadth in this case if you see here we have if i talk about just focus on these three lines line segments this one this one and this one. Just focus at this point. So here, here and here. This is actually, I'm talking about three dimension, dimensions, okay? Just forget about a cube for a moment. Just think of dimensions. So this is length. This is length. Okay. This is from here to here, this is from here to here, this is width, this is width and from here, from here till here that is on this one. This is length, this is width, and this is its height. This is its height. So length, width, and height. This is a three dimension. Now you can, you can just look at, you know, any wooden block, you know, just, or what example can be given to you? Like if you, if you pick up your mobile phone, right? And if you just place it in the air and just try to look at this whole shape, then you will think of a three dimensional. It will be having a length, it will having a width, and it will be having a height also, okay? Even if you shut down your laptop, if you just shut down your laptop, then the, uh, the flap of the laptop will be having some length, will be having some length width. And if you 
hold whole laptop in your hand, then you will be able to see the height of that laptop also. That's a three dimensional object. Okay. So here we have, this is length, this is width and this is height. Now, this was about three dimensional so that there's no confusion out, you know, you don't get confused what is three dimensional and what is two dimensional and all. Something special about cube. There's something special about cube in three. There are many three dimensional objects, diagrams. When you will move to higher standards, and you will learn a lot. Okay, you will learn. You will be having a separate subject on three dimensional geometry. Well, anyways, cube is a three dimensional uh, um, is a three dimensional shape in which all the edges. You remember we use edges in uh, in quadrilateral polygons. So in which all the edges are actually equal. All the edges are equal. Length, breadth, and width and height all are equal. If length is A, then width is also A and height will also be A. So cube is a you know three-dimensional uh, shape where all the edges are equal. All the edges, all the edges are equal. All the edges are equal. Now, if all the edges are equal, and if we assume that we represent the edges of a cube by small letter A, if this is A, that means just focus on the front face of this cuboid, this one. So this will be A, this will be A, this will be A, and this will be A. So similarly, in this case, this will also be A, this will also be A, this will also be A, right? If you look at the back, concentrate on the back face, this will be A, we have covered this one, this will be A, and this will also be A. Now, if you look at this side face of this cube, or cube then this is A, we have covered this one, we have we, this A, and we have covered this one. Now, you have to tell the total length of the edges of a cube. You have to tell the total length of the edges of a cube. Okay. Concentrate on this front face. This front face. This. Let's count the edges one by one. Just focus on this front face. So this is A plus. This is A plus. This is A plus this is A, right, for the front face. Now focus for the back face, you know, just opposite of the front one, so this one, this one. So this is A, so I'm just adding here only, plus A, this was. Then this is A, plus A. Then this is A, plus A. Then this is A, plus A. So we have covered the front face, and we have covered the, just the back face or the opposite face of the front face, right? Now, if we focus on the upper face, this upper face, we will not again include this one because it has already been included in the first portion, right? This one. But if I talk about this one, yes, you will have to take this one because it has not been covered yet. So this one plus A and plus, we have covered this one. Yes. What about this one? No, we haven't. So plus A, then plus. So front face covered, this opposite of the front face covered, that is a back face and the upper face is covered. Now just look at the side one, that is focus on this face. This is covered, yes. This is covered, yes. What about this one? No, this has not been covered, right? This has not been covered, so A, then plus. This has been covered, yes. Now. Look at this last face, this one. Has this been covered? Yes. Has this been covered? Yes. Has this been covered? No. Has this been covered? Yes, it has been covered. Now calculate it. How many A's you have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. You have 12 A's. And if I represent the total length of the edges, that is this total length by capital L. Let's suppose that we represent using L, capital L, where capital L tells us the total length of the edges of a cube and this A tells you the edges of a cube. 
So the total length of the edges of all the edges of a cube will be L is equal to 12A and it is a very interesting formula when you move to high standards you'll use this formula a lot.